episode of 168 hours. It's a Saturday, we're starting early. I got a new camera and I'd like to play with it. I'm quite anxious this evening, I don't really know why, but um, it means that my appetite goes, so I'm making myself eat. And I've decided what's the easiest thing in the world, ravioli. So I'm having a bit of ravioli and just bunging some kale in there and I'm just hoping that my body sorts itself out. Leafy greens. So let's talk about what I'm up to this evening. So I double booked myself this evening. So Charlie's leaving his house, so I really wanted to go to that. And then also my friend Aj was having her birthday party, really want to go to that. And then I realised all is having her birthday with Matthew as well. So I don't feel like I'm able to miss any of them. I like everyone. So I'm just going to try and go to all three. should probably mention that all on different sides of London. One is north, one is south and one is west. I'm fine. I'm going to bring along my new camera. Bought a new camera. I've been meaning to for ages. Let me tell you the saga of this camera. It comes in this little case and it looks like this. It's so cute, right? I ordered it on Amazon twice and both times it didn't show up. So I had to report like these complaints. Oh, it was silly, but I finally went into store and just bought it in Curry's today. Just didn't want any more faff and I'm really pleased I did. I'm so excited to use it. It's mainly for montages, but you can also vlog on it. Sound won't be great. It'll be like this sound. This sound is tinny, so sorry about that. Okay, I'm gonna go from Aj to Charlie, and then I've got a long journey west. Can't get too drunk. I have a gym class at 10.30 tomorrow. And then if I manage to do all three, I'm allowed to get an Uber home. There's just a lot to think about. See you in the morning when I will let you know if I manage to make it to my gym class. face. <laughs> I managed two out of the three parties. Ad didn't come to her party until after I'd left, so I stayed for two hours, um, which I shouldn't have done in hindsight. I wanted to see her, but she wanted to make an entrance, and that's totally understandable. I'm a bit hungover. I was drunk enough that I got an Uber home, but I did my skincare routine. It's now like 9.30. I got up an hour ago. Oh, I wish I could sleep in a bit more, but I can't today. Like, the light was coming through. I was really gutted I didn't get to go to Aula's. I feel really bad about it. So I've sent her a message <laughs> and apologised and asked to take her out for dinner. In my brain I feel okay, in my stomach I'm feeling alright, I'm not feeling too bad. I don't normally talk about alcohol on this channel because I try and never glorify it. I don't think it's something that should be glorified as much as it is in society and I want this place to be as safe a space as possible for people who don't drink or are questioning their relationship with alcohol. So, to be completely transparent, I get really bad anxiety. So like hangover anxiety, it's just not fun at all. I haven't got any right now. Normally, as soon as I wake up, I'm like punched in the gut with fear. Um, but today is okay, I think. I don't want to speak too soon. I'm just gonna take it really easy. Remember that gym class? I don't think I'm gonna make it. I'm thinking about it. I think I'm just gonna take it really easy today. I think I might catch up on my YouTube subscriptions, actually. But I'm feeling okay, basically, in my heart, and I need to keep that, keep that level to avoid the anxiety, because if I start getting anxious, it is over for me. I feel like I was yelling all night though. Can you hear this voice? Oh.
what Jack would call my art school teacher outfit. <laughs> or like an art school teacher outfit. I've got on my staff trousers, this oversized shirt, and a polo neck. I love this. Welcome to my bookshelf. So something weird happened yesterday. Not even weird, but like it was just a bit odd. So there was a girl at one of the parties who at one point, I'm sure a lot of alcohol was consumed beforehand, turned to me and said, oh, by the way, full transparency, I used to watch your videos. And I was like, I totally understand logically what she was trying to say with that. It was meant to be a compliment. Every influencer experiences peaks and troughs in their like relatability, like how many people are watching them, their relevancy and their view count, their numbers, it's completely normal. It's part of the life cycle of a channel. Like you have like big waves, right? And you just have to ride the waves. And I know that I had a huge wave in 2017, but it is like super weird. As much as you tell yourself like, oh, this is completely normal, it's fine. <laughs> like people used to watch me, they don't anymore. Their lives are busier or whatever. It doesn't quite like compute in your brain. I've heard it a couple of times recently. Someone's been like, I used to watch your videos. Hazel and I got it at an event the other day. Like people will just, they, they mean well, but like it's really odd to be on the receiving end of. And I never truly appreciate how odd it would be because it's only recently started happening. It's weird, basically. Being a YouTuber is so weird. Your job is so dependent on being relevant and you don't have that much control over whether you're relevant. It just depends on who's seeing you, how they're seeing you, you need ideas, you need to be motivated, etc, etc. I don't even know if I'll include this, but I thought I'd mention it because I think it's interesting. <laughs> I had some like weird late lunch thing, I've really messed up my meals today, I don't know what time of day or anything it is in my brain. However, I ate a stir fry and it was delicious. In about an hour I'm gonna go meet my friend Ellen, but before then, I think I want to finish becoming, I think I can do it. within her coat lining. Brilliant. But we just don't know how to get them out. Who knows where they are? Hey! She's got it. Good morning. I feel really low today. Um, I don't normally feel like this. This is quite weird. I haven't felt like this in a while. I know it's different to normal. Um, but yeah, I think it's my gut because I drank two days in a row. I think maybe my gut's just disrupting my brain. It's early days. I've still got a whole day to do. Maybe I'll try and work with someone and see if anyone's about that. Um, yeah. Brain's still not good. I haven't even started work yet and it's like 12.30. Oh, I'm just sick of it. Like, I just hate days like this. They don't come very often, but when they do, I feel like, thanks world. I'm very lucky and very grateful that I can actually just ease myself into stuff and take time to look after myself on days like today. I was gonna film, that was what my to-do list had for today, but no, some days you're just not up to being on camera. So, I'm gonna do some planning. I have some projects I'm working on at the moment and I really need to get like a head start on that so I'll do some of that stuff maybe write a blog post to try and keep the momentum have achieved like one thing today that I'm satisfied with it's so hard to be kind to yourself when you're unproductive like I really tie my productivity with my value and my worth as a person I know I'll be all right tomorrow probably this week will be better just today is almost like a hangover from the weekend in my stomach and my brain Aviva just got back and Aviva <laughs> I'm so excited. Maybe one in one out policy. One shelf. One shelf. One shelf. One shelf. That's shelf. <laughs> Seesaw. Ooh. I've never tried that one. This is my this is my shit. Aviva brought this home the other like maybe what, two months ago, three months ago, and we ate it all. We loved it. Anyway, food's nearly ready.
It is Tuesday and I'm actually doing okay. I just freshly curled my hair, so excuse how like done it looks. But the reason I've done my hair is because today is a filming day. I'm gonna try and film a type of video I've never filmed before and I'm actually quite stressed about. About like halfway through last year, I had the fear of God pit in me about filming anything new or anything challenging. And I don't know why, like for years and years, my channel was somewhere I would go to to create an experiment but I lost the urge to do that. But I'm gonna go completely out of my comfort zone today. I'm gonna do a styling video. In fact, let me just make a coffee and then we can talk about why it's challenging. Also, I think we're gonna get rid of these because people come over and they spell very, very rude things on them. And then I start filming and I see it and I'll be filming like this and then I'll kind of go like. <coughs> I bought some Empress Grey tea from m &S. This used to be my favorite. So this video, first of all, <laughs> involves me wearing clothes. I am not the most comfortable in my own skin, like publicly. I'm feeling good today. It just stresses me out way more than it should do. I worry that people will like a video more or less depending on what I look like. Another concern is that I don't know how the light's gonna look, where I'm gonna film, if my body's even gonna fit in the frame, because I know it may shock you, but I'm five foot seven and it's hard to get a full body shot of me in any house in England. So I'm gonna attempt some magic camera tricks and see if that works. I'm just like, what have I agreed to? And also I need to get it done before it gets darker. So like before 3 p.m. Also I have to style my own clothes. Is everything clean? Is anything clean? It'll be fine, be fine. Just gotta go for it. finished filming and this is the aftermath. So I heated up half a portion of yesterday's food and then I also added a side salad because I was like I haven't had fresh veg in quite a while. I'm basically eating a big portion of veg and veggie sausages but I'm so about it. Let me eat some avocado. I think that's what I'm most excited for. Yep, that's what I wanted. So conveniently one of these many days when my stomach feels fucking wrecked <laughs> I have simple yay i'm so happy i've been meaning to order this for ages but i've been away i need a kind of three month stint where i was going to be here because it needs to be refrigerated oh my god this is completely unsponsored i'd like to clarify i want to tell you about it anyway just because um it might help someone and that'd be great simprove if you know anything about gut health you know that this is like the uk's like best probiotic it is spen spenny spenny expensive but it does the job i've never heard a bad word about it and so I decided I should buy it. So this is the 12 week program. I have two more boxes and this is so heavy. I'm bloody excited. Take one full cup, um, which is 70 ml of some proof every morning, 10 minutes before you eat or drink, that'll be fine for me. Oh my God, I'm gonna put this in the fridge. Ah, I'm so excited. Like it's really steady, so if you wiggle it, it just like. Uh, how do you know what you're filming? I can see it in the little screen. <gasps> no way. I can't see much, but Why I can see a bit. <laughs> because it's stabilized, I can get all my B roll <laughs> and it fits in all my bags. This is, I really wish that, you, that people could see it. <laughs> it looks like it's come out of Star Wars, it looks like a droid. I feel like it's looking into my soul. It is. Are you zooming? No, no, there is no zoom. I can't even tell. I don't think you can zoom on it. Stop okay, that's good. So this was meant to be a joint or something? <laughs> Have you knocked it off? No, let's, let's do that again. <laughs> so don't take mine anywhere. We can put it on the side, it's fine. Just maybe let's not play with fire, literally. better when we first come to drink tomorrow. Okay, right. how you enjoy it. This apparently, do I sip it while it's still? <laughs> yeah, just go, just go for the whole thing. Neck can you film me? I'm not gonna neck it all back. As if you vlog on this tiny little thing. Brilliant. Expert review. It's like a rum sour. Smell safe. Smell it. Let's get a little arty shot of that. How do you zoom? I don't know. 
Can't. Great, this is a really good camera, Noon. <laughs> good one. I'm having so much fun. Yeah. You're gonna get really good content. Is it though? <laughs> is it? some light the sun's finally out but the temperature is so cold look at how nice this little area looks in the sun i'm really trying to make it a bit cuter i'm going to decorate this bookshelf like more properly when i have time i feel like i have oh that's so pretty i'm having a bit of a down on myself week i think it's not been oh <laughs> it's not been good for me really just one of those weeks i really am kind of convinced that my pill is what's doing it. I go through phases of being like, I need to come off this pill, and then phases of being like, no, it's just you, you're just maybe depressed. And then I'm like, no, I think it's my pill. So I do think it's my pill, because I don't feel sad. I just feel completely drained all the time. I want to be like, like starting new projects, achieving my goals, as um, Ashley O would say. Anyway, good morning. I take day two of Simprove today. It is hopefully gonna improve my life. However, my digestion is not having a good day. I've just spent a strong half hour on the toilet. Woo! Anyway, I'm gonna make coffee. I know I'm not gonna have coffee, but I feel like shit, so I'm gonna have a coffee. And I'm gonna edit my video for tonight. I normally try and edit a bit earlier on in the week, but here we are. I am meeting my dad later. That'd be nice. because I like I don't think I ever cried on camera um, <laughs> but I just watched um, Phil Philip Schofield come out on this morning like the clip of it it's just so emotional <laughs> just a bit like oh my god I'm so glad he was able to come out anyway good morning it is Friday I think this is the last day of the vlog I think I started it on Saturday wow we're changing things up in in moon world moon moonland so I just had an hour and a half long chat with my sister which was desperately needed I haven't properly spoken to her probably since Christmas because I was away and she's been doing exams but it was so nice so so nice to talk to her I've been having a lot of time to think lately and I've been having a lot of thoughts I don't think I realized just how much was going on in my brain and how much I wanted to change about my life until um, I just spoke to her and I was like, oh, these are all tangible things and I know I'm gonna do them, but I haven't told anyone I'm gonna do them yet. I've kind of mentioned them, you know, in passing, but I haven't really chatted about, like, for example, the fact that I'm on Simprove. Like, I'm talking about that now, but that is in preparation to probably come off my pill so I can get a different kind of contraceptive that's non-hormonal so that my skin doesn't break out and I might end up going on spironolactone or something. And I'm just a bit like, ah, oh, I'm thinking about all this stuff, like, and about my job and what it means to be a YouTuber now and like, and like where that's going and new projects and new thoughts and ideas and how I want my career to develop in the future and just stuff like that. I was like, Oh, <laughs> I've been thinking a lot why I'm finding it hard to motivate myself and lethargy and my thyroid. And I was like, 
Oh my god. Also, in my job, like all of that stuff, so much of it is dependent around me getting my energy back. But it made me realise I need to go and actually get a bunch of blood tests done. And I haven't gone yet, so I'm gonna take my vials to the hospital up the road and go and get those blood tests, I think. I've gotta wait around, it's a walk-in service, a bit annoying, but I think 2 p.m. On a, on a Friday, hopefully no one will be there. And then I'm gonna make a curry for dinner. There's a lot going on in my brain right now. It doesn't help that I spend all day alone a lot of days, so I do overthink. But I am very conscious that like, where is my life going? Like, I'm 24, I know I don't need to worry yet. Like, there's no need to worry, but it does, make me think I would like to know. The one thing I do know is that I want to create in whatever role I have and usually to have a creative, a creative creative job. Not that other jobs aren't creative, but like to be on your own dime creative means that you have to be self-employed. So I'm not necessarily looking to get back into a full-time role anytime soon, I don't think. But that doesn't mean I'm ruling out going into an office and working two days a week or anything really like I just I'm just a bit like oh. <laughs> a lot's been going on in my head and I'm stressed <sighs> but I feel a lot better after talking to her she's really helpful so thank you Rowan because you'll probably watch this <laughs> if I'm coming off my contraceptive this year is gonna be mad I make an egg I'll get through it yeah it's just weird when you know something's wrong but you don't know what's wrong it's very strange we're gonna get to the bottom of it Love it or hate it, this is a very effective technique for drilling a song into your head. Just over the course of candy paint. Hello, I'm ready to go out. I put on lipstick. I honestly rarely ever wear dark lipsticks anymore when I go out because I'm usually with Jack. And if I'm with Jack, I am gonna, it's just not nice kissing someone when you got lipstick on. And also he doesn't want to have this on his face. <laughs> so it's a treat, a little treat for me and myself and I today, wearing lipstick. Now I'm gonna put on some of my perfume. You can stand here. And now I'm ready to go. 